Hi guys, it's Becky Bamboo. Today is Friday, um, March the 20th of 2015. Yes, it's Friday. I haven't done a Friday dance in so long. I haven't done a video in so long. So hi, how are you guys? I miss you all. Um, obviously, some things have changed in my life here recently. Um, I have a newborn um, in my life once again. Um, my son is now two and a half, so uh, <clears throat> it's been a while since we had an infant in our home, and um, it's definitely taken some adjustment to get back into that um, taking care of an infant mode that you have to be in. Um, trying to find room in my tiny house for um, bringing back out all the infant things, the, the big swing and the bouncer seat and... Um, finding floor room for um, her to spend time and uh, good night. It's just, um, it's been interesting. So Zadie, this is Zadie. Um, she is uh, three weeks old and two days old. She was born on February the 25th. Uh, has a, a very hard life as you can, uh, as you can see. Um, I'm, I'm a happy camper. Um, motherhood is what I was supposed to do with my life and uh gosh she's a snuggle bunny she likes to lay on her tummy like this on my chest and snuggle and um I haven't I've been very busy today so I haven't had a lot of snuggle time so I'm soaking it up and uh obviously she's a happy one um laying here like this so um I haven't done video in forever and um I've been off work for quite a while I had a really rough pregnancy and uh, so I've, I've been off since the beginning of January, um, and I still have another three weeks before I'll go back to work. So uh, I've had a lot of time to kind of evaluate where I'm at in my life and where I'm going and what I'm doing and um, what I want to be doing and, you know, all that kind of good stuff that comes with having a little too much time on your hands. Um, I, I have to say, I, I'm... Now that she's here, I'm quite busy and, um, you know, just trying to get through the days of <clears throat> feeding and changing diapers and um, trying to do kind of some last minute things around my house that I'd like to do before I go back to work. Today I uh, cleaned out my closet and reorganized my closet and, you know, it's all just odd little things that um, I kind of have come up with with my time off. Um, and a lot of the stuff that I'm doing now is stuff that I just didn't feel up to doing before I um, actually gave birth. I I was very sick. I have a, the majority of my pregnancy was just really rough. I had a really bad hypertension and um, a lot of pain with my back stuff that I couldn't really medicate very well because of being pregnant. And uh, it's just been a long road. So while I've been off and kind of evaluating where I'm at in my life, I got to thinking about how much I really miss doing videos and how I miss um, taking care of myself. Um, motherhood suits me very well and I enjoy having children, um, but I've fallen into the trap that so many of us do, which is um, our needs and our wants and our desires for ourselves come secondary to what's going on with our kids. And, um, I'd like to say that, um, it's, you know, I thought, you know, early on that it would be easy to avoid the trap, but it's not. Um, you know, the fact is, is my son spent, has spent the majority of his life, um, being sick on and off. And, um, actually the last year has been really, really good for us, but, um, the first two years of his life were he was very sick all the time. So it was a lot of running to the doctor and, you know, constant worry on when is he going to get sick again? What's the next thing that's going to happen? And, uh, it was just always something, you know, we, we did, we had just a plethora of ear infections. He had croup. Uh, he had to have a life flight helicopter ride, um, from having croup, it, you know, just scary stuff. And, um, so needless to say, my, I definitely went down the path of, um, I didn't take care of myself the way that I should. Now, with that said, I still take care of myself enough that I haven't slid down the slippy slope of um, regaining all of my weight or anything like that. You know, I'm—I um, will be five years post-op 
uh, gastric bypass this June, which is not that far away. Um, it's hard to believe it's going to be five years already. Um, but I'm still maintaining over 200 pounds lost. And, um, you know, I just, I haven't been able to take care of myself the way that I want to in that um, I miss working out. I miss running. I miss feeling physically fit. I miss um, looking good in my clothes and having some muscle tone underneath all the skin that I have. I, I miss all of that stuff and that's all stuff that I could control. I just have to find a way to do it. Um, I was kind of finally getting back to my roots with that um, when I got pregnant with Zadie. And um, unfortunately, my pregnancy was just so, so challenging that I, I was not able to keep up with it. Um, and now, having two children to take care of, I'm definitely in a, not in a position where I can, um, you know, hire a personal trainer again. And not in a position where I have uh, free time to, um, to go and, you know, get a gym membership and work out at a gym. So... Um, I've been doing some kind of brainstorming the last several months of what am I going to do after she's born? What am I going to do for myself that is important um, to help me take care of me? Um, you know, because taking care of ourselves is what makes us better people. and It'll make me a better mom, a better nurse, a better wife, a better friend, a better everything. Um, I'm so much of a better person when I am active in my life when I am working out when I'm doing the things that I need to do um, you know to take care of myself um, I don't I, I am I have been struggling with food um, but it's hard it's kind of hard to say that because um, pregnancy makes um, a lot of weight loss surgery rules and stuff have to go kind of by the by uh, during pregnancy because for me with my gastric bypass if I don't eat carbs when I'm pregnant, um, I have a lot of issues with controlling my blood glucose. Um, I get really, I, I mean, I drop really, really low. And it was things that I, I was dealing with that um, pretty heavily um, while I was still working. Um, the stress of work and the, and the busyness of my job and um, what I was eating was really creating problems for me. In fact, I was... Um, I, I had days where I was, I would go eat breakfast at work, and when I'd come back out about a half hour later, I would get to where I was almost going to black out. <clears throat> Excuse me. And I had several days in a row where I'd check my blood sugar, and it would be like in the 40s, uh, which is really low. <laughs> it should be like 80, and it was in the 40s. So um, I had to reincorporate carbs back into my diet a lot more than what I normally do. Um, so, you know, with that, it's kind of hard to say that I haven't been eating well, but, you know, I've kind of had the stuff that you have to do, the kind of changes you have to make with pregnancy. Um, and and the, if there's other people out there I know um, who've had gastric bypass who've gone through the same, the same ordeal. Um, it's having to try to figure out, you know, getting the right complex carbs in to keep everything stable and um, not, it's just a mess really. So um, I've still maintained my weight loss despite the fact that I haven't been working out. So obviously I've been doing something right, you know, um, because if I wasn't eating appropriately and not working out, then I would be gaining weight. So um, I'm just in a place where I, I need to make some changes um, to allow myself to, to be the best that I can be. And um, I feel like it's been a long time since I've been that. So um, as I've been thinking about those, what changes I can make, one of the first things that comes to my mind is to get back to video blogging, to get back to the community, to get back to a place where I know there's support, where I know there's encouragement, where I know there's motivation and inspiration around every corner that I look. There's always somebody out there doing something new or something that is going to go, make me go, wow, I need to, I can get on board with this or I can try that or, um, you know, just, that's awesome. I'm going to follow suit. I want to do something great too. Um, that's truly where my journey started. You know, I, I started watching videos before I even found out I was going to be able to have um, weight loss surgery. And um, I, I was motivated by people at that point. And then once I started to venture down my journey and I started 
putting my thoughts down on video and, and my journey and what things were meaning to me and what was happening for me, um, that's truly when I started to have really good success because I, I think some of it is just getting my thoughts out of my head and into some kind of form. And um, sometimes just saying things out loud is enough to make us kind of uh, kick our own ass, so to speak. Um, so here I am. I'm back to, um, you know, to kind of go back down that road. And um, I, I don't have a lot of weight that I really want to lose, but I really want to get myself physically fit again and strengthen my body and my back and um, do everything I can to just be the best me that I can be. Um, you know, I have a ton of excess skin that's always going to be there. I don't have the means financially to, um, to have uh, plastic surgery as much as I would love to have some of it removed it's just not going to be in the cards for me anytime in my future I you know I just can't I cannot foresee it with two children to take care of that I would ever be able to splurge with that kind of a, 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 of a financial thing um, for myself so you know it, it is what it is I've had to learn to love myself despite having it and I have done that and you know I've had to fight the fight of looking at the number on the scale and you know for me I don't judge myself based on what the scale says um, I kind of control my weight based on how I feel based on how my clothes fit um, I've been wearing the same same clothes for three and a half years now um, it, it well, probably not that long probably three years um, so you know if they start to get tight I have to go mm, it's time to get it you know, back off a little bit, and I, you know, I just don't, I don't want to be a slave to the, to the number on the scale, because, um, I went through that time, I went through that time of, oh my gosh, I'm up five pounds, and that makes me a shitty person, and that, you know, I beat, beat the hell out of myself for it, that, it don't work, that just doesn't work for me, um, I know there's a lot of people out there who, who need the, the number, um, to, to keep yourself level, I'm happy for you. I'm happy for anybody who, you know, whatever you have to do to have your own success is what you have to do. For me, that drives me absolutely crazy. And I don't want to beat myself up. I've worked really hard to to like who I am and, and feel like I have value in the world. And um, I'm not going back down that path. So, you know, I kind of avoid the scale um, if I can. I will say... People always want to know about pregnancy and, and, uh, and weight and stuff. So let me just put it out there. I gained 25 pounds with my pregnancy with Zadie and um, six days postpartum I had complications and I had to go back to the hospital and I was readmitted. Um, I went, I had to go through the emergency department. They weighed me in the emergency department and I had actually lost 27 pounds in six days. So don't freak out about the, about the weight gain with pregnancy. If you do, if you take care of yourself and you eat appropriately and you keep, you know, just being healthy the way that you know how to do it, the weight will go on, the weight will come off, and you move on. And actually now, I'm even lower than that, um, which I was um, I was up some when I got pregnant with her. So I'm getting back down to where I want to be. Um, I still have a little bit more weight that I would like to lose for myself. So um, kind of where I'm at right now is um, I'm going to buy myself a treadmill. I've been saving some money. Um, for a while, I'm going to buy myself a treadmill to have in my house um, that will allow me to do my walking and running any time of day or night that I can fit it in, which is what I need. I need to have flexibility in when I can work out. Um, I need to have flexibility in, in that I don't have to go anywhere. I don't have to make extra time to get to a gym, to see a trainer, all of that. I've seen a trainer. I know how to work myself out. I know what I have to do to strengthen my body. So it's just a matter of getting it done now. So I still have three weeks until I am, will be released to start working out again um, postpartum. So um, I'm just in the process of researching my, my treadmill and what all I'm going to do. But this is kind of just my way of coming back and saying hi to everybody and, and kind of tell you, um, you know, that I have a new mission. And my new mission is to not forget about myself now that I have two kids. I need to remember that I'm still here and I still have value and I still have importance. And taking care of myself is an important part of that, that puzzle. So um, anyway, I miss you guys. I love you guys. I can't wait to get back involved and I'll talk to y'all soon. Bye.